As promised, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel, where today I am going to show you freshest battles, freshest changes to the HE shells from the Sandbox server. And yes, indeed, that was me trying to damage myself, hitting into the wall and I did no damage to myself. More about that in a moment. Well, everything makes sense when you just watch the video. Now, I'm pretty sure we are going to see a lot of, like, I can predict the future. We are going to see a lot of RIP KV2, RIP FE4205 Stage 2, RIP HE memes, RIP 60 DPs type of comments everywhere. Because HE shells indeed were nerfed and buffed at the same time. It was most obviously nerfed when it comes to the damage hitting the face of armored vehicles but at the same time ladies and gentlemen in many situations it was also straight out buffed for example take a look at that i did slow it down for you as well a lot my first shot this was actually my first shot at an actual enemy on the sandbox test server overall this battle was my first battle on the sandbox test server testing out new AG mechanics and this battle alone basically covers everything new with AG shells well you are going to see many more battles many more angles many more actions but um, while we speak while while i continue introducing these chains but it was just funny showcasing every single pro and con in a single battle like this shot for example straight out to nerf as you can see only 153 damage done once again everything makes sense when i cover all the points so talking about the chains on the sandbox server why they decided to do that in the first place their goal is to keep the things you enjoy the most about the AG shells with this new AG balance, uh, which are fun and exciting gameplay. In my opinion, this is, um, well, you know, it is personal preference. Ease of use, in my opinion, is actually pros, uh, pro and con at the same time. Yes, it is super easy to use. Uh, uh, you are able to deal damage with every single shot, but uh, is it actually good? in every single shot and by the way why you are not seeing outlines this is just a replay bug this is what happens in replays you are not seeing outlines in replays almost all the time sometimes you do like right now i saw but no, not anymore anyway if you ask that this is the reason it's just replay fine but continuing to talk about pros and cons uh, fun and exciting gameplay unique to the game well it is uh, well, matter of uh, taste, you know, ease of causing damage. I would put that into the uh, pros and cons section at the same time, because yes, uh, ease to cause damage, yes, it is super easy, just left click, uh, sorry, right click and left click. You don't have to use your brain, you do not have to think at all, basically, just casually smack whatever you can into the face of the enemies and just roll the dice as you see what your what your damage roll is this is actually a bad gameplay in my humble opinion it is just in my opinion because mm, it makes you sloppy you do not have to think about weak spots you do not have to aim at the weak spots you do not have to do any tanking gameplay just slap your he out as often as you can just slap it out when you are done reloading you know uh, cons, they say, well-armored vehicles take high frontal damage from large HE shells. Yes, indeed. It is impossible to predict how much damage you will cause or take. Yes, indeed. But usually it is in a range, you know. The low uh, popularity of HE shells for low and medium caliber guns. Well, there are... Some more cons, but I would say the biggest one, of course, um, which has, has affected the player base is well-armored vehicles take high frontal damage from large caliber AG shells. Now, this itself is filled with pros and cons as well. Think about non-artillery battle, extreme hull down tank destroyer, uh, or not tank destroyers, tanks facing each other. No one is able to penetrate each other. It only depends who gets flanked first is going to lose the battle, you know. AG in those situations helped. Like Chieftain, IS-7, 
You cannot slap those tanks with HE that hard anymore. Is that a bro or is that a con now? What do you think? If you are the um, chieftain driver, it is a con for you. If you are playing against chieftain and you cannot do anything else other than HE, dealing moderate damage is pro for you. So what they did uh, for the start, let's go over the mechanics very quickly. Previously, what we had, I'm going to show you just uh, very quickly. I'm going to demonstrate to you very quickly. Previously, what we had was this. When you did hit anything, HE shell has a splash sphere. Sphere, you know, circle, radius. Let's put it sphere, radius, whatever, you know. And it was looking for the weakest point in that circle, what it can penetrate and deal the most damage to. This is what we had. Now, we do not have that. Now, long story short, whatever you hit is going to be your impact and it tries to penetrate that part of the armor without counting in splash damage. Basically, no splash damage whatsoever. Which, once again, has pros and cons because, for example, if you hit the gun, you deal zero damage, not a single splash. If you hit the gun mantle, zero damage. Nothing because it cannot penetrate. This happened many times with FE-405, for example, showing you a couple of clips on the background as well. FE-405, I did hit T 60 DP, zero damage. I'm going to hit uh, uh, E5 for zero damage. I did hit Jagdpanzer for 200 something damage. And by the way, this picture actually showcases uh, really nicely the damage difference uh, hitting mouse into the exact same position with all the FEs, as you can see previously. 969, uh, sorry, 696 damage, 799 damage, 821 damage, 608 damage. Damage rolls were actually all over the place from 700 to 821. Now, same position, new HE ammunition, 286, 330, 271 and 336 damage. Hitting the same position because it tries to penetrate, it tries to go through, deal as much damage to the armor thickness it actually landed on. You can see from this clip as well, hitting the side, front or into the top of the engine bay, what you are able to penetrate, you can still do that. You can still penetrate because penetration on every single HE shell is exactly the same. Another quite a massive change, which is, guys, bigger than you may expect at first, is HE goes through objects. HE goes through walls, as you can see, before it exploded on the first uh, thing it hit, uh, was that a, like, little lamp post, was that gate post, was that wall, was that space armor, like this clip, for example, hitting space armor did some damage. Whatever it was, but now, as you can see, it didn't have enough power to go through that space armor. It didn't have enough power to go through the space armor under angle like this as well. But now let's look at this one. Shell penetrating a bit weaker space armor, 73 millimeters penetration. Shell penetrating a bit weaker armor. It goes through the first screen. It penetrates it, as they said. They used the, the word penetration as well, and it keeps on going. Hits the turret and deals damage uh, based on the turret's armor. Now, let's take a look where this is going to be even crazier. Let's take a look at this clip. Uh, you also saw exactly the same situation happening in the first battle. I didn't do any damage with my first shot into the rear of Geronta because exactly this happened. I fired into the tracks, it did hit the tracks, no splash and did zero damage because nothing was behind that. Uh, nothing was behind the tracks. But now, take a look at one vehicle which might be nerfed a lot. EBR-105, ladies and gentlemen. Going back to my first shot of the entire video, I did penetrate EBR-105 through the wheels. Wheels which always catched the most shells, HE splashes, it catched everything. Now, with new mechanic, if you have enough penetration, you don't need too much extra penetration. It goes, it penetrates the wheels and then penetrates the hull because EBR basically has no armor beside or behind the wheels. <laughs> 
And we were testing it so many times. I was even using 60mm penetration guns and penetration after penetration after penetration. And now if you think EBR versus EBR, every single shot is going to be a penetration. When two EBRs are fighting, every single HE was a penetration. Now, what other vehicles this is going to affect? For example, let's take Leopard 1, which has quite a decent HE penetration, 105mm HE penetration, and if you have the knowledge of enemy tank side armor, you can do stuff like that. Before that shot, I literally said, that should be a penetration, because T-30 doesn't have that much armor behind the tracks, and it was a penetration. Well, EBR is still doing EBR stuff. Sometimes I have absolutely no idea how that shot was not a penetration, but oh well, you know, RNG still happens in this game. And uh, we said the same about uh, Progetto 66, so this is the heavy tank. I just wanted to make sure, by the way, I wanted to show you this clip as well. I received zero damage from 705 because he did it, my gun mantle or my gun. And um, I wanted to make sure I am going to kill this guy because I'm dead anyway. Or not kill this guy, I wanted to make sure I can penetrate through the tracks and I did hit through the tracks. Before getting penetrated myself by 10 guns, if you know what I mean. Vehicles like Centurion 71 that has um, kind of a special premium round. What I'm using right over here. Special premium round called Hesh. This has less penetration, a lot less penetration than the standard round. So you win some, you lose some, but more damage. Hesh round. Now it penetrates objects, which means it also penetrates tracks more easily. And if you have the knowledge of the side armor, if you have the knowledge of the spaced armor, it is big buff, it deals so much more damage, it penetrates so much more often. If you penetrate, but you lose straight out damage with every single shot, as you just saw, 53 damage into the tortoise if I didn't penetrate. So, overall, what this HE, new HE system, makes you do is it makes you think a lot more. You have to juggle, I don't know, is that the right word to use? Between your ammunition, your types of ammunition, way more often, because APCR is so much better in some situations. Like right now, penetrating through the tracks, hash, boom. Before, there was a chance it is going to explode. Like, big chance it is going to explode hitting the tracks and you deal just 200-ish damage. Now, if you don't penetrate, you deal like 50 damage. But if you do penetrate into the side, into the space armor, knowing the weak spots, you deal so much more damage so much more often. So, you win some, you lose some. You have to cycle through the ammunitions, uh, depending on the situations, depending on the enemies. Uh, you can rely more on HE if you know what you are doing, but at the same time, if you are unlucky, you get punished more. So, it is a lot to take in, honestly, it is a lot to take in. Uh, what was, um, so overall, what was straight out nerfed? Number one, splash damage. Absolutely no splash damage. Like, after playing, I don't even know how many battles we played. It felt like absolutely no splash damage at all. You hit the gun, deal zero damage. You hit the gun mantle, you deal zero damage. Uh, gun mantle, if the gun mantle is thick enough, you deal zero damage. You um, deal so much less damage overall if you do not penetrate. As you saw from the pictures, as you have seen looking at the 60 dp roll, 60 dp is happy if it damages 200 damage now hitting vehicle anywhere. Like if, if you just want to right click, left click, you deal two times, at least two times less damage than previously with 60 dp. Like this is just for an example, um, talking about all the high tier derp guns, E100, what people like to use HE with, 60dp, what people like to use HE with, uh, but uh, in my opinion 60dp is so much better, like like miles better with AP and heat rounds, but hey, I'm just talking about uh, um, the stuff over here. And as you saw, hitting 60dp through the side skirts, side armor, spaced armor, tracks, 
I was able to penetrate every single shot because I knew I'm able to do that with 210 millimeters of penetration into the 60 dp side and now two penetrations in a row 480 blast damage in a uh, ton in total so it was straight out buff in that situation but if you don't have those angles centurion 71 can use apcr and still deal a lot of damage so i would say centurion 71 got buffed a lot a lot like a lot guys so overall what it does it forces players to think more it forces players to actually think about the weak spots aim at the weak spots if they want to maximize damage even with ag and it forces people to think which type of ammunition is better in this situation. But this only goes to vehicles which actually has many different ammunition types. What are effective, like on 60 dp. What about tanks? What about tanks which are made for turb cannons? Uh, those, yeah, uh, straight out... Um, well, actually, not straight out nerf, because... Seeing the side armor, they're going to get more penetrations now. But how often do you see the side armor? Uh, for those vehicles, I would say it is you win some, you lose some situations. You penetrate more shots into the side, into the rear. Uh, you penetrate objects uh, many times. Like if you only carried H ammunition on turp uh, guns, many times you actually couldn't even take the shot because of objects because of um, rubble, because of lamppost, because of, I don't know if lamppost uh, stopped, uh, but gates, uh, gate posts, uh, stuff like that stopped your shell. Many times because of that you were not able to do anything. By the way, that shot was only, into the side was only 98 damage. I was able to uh, destroy it at type 5 because of um, engine fire, but you saw the damage roll which was ridiculously low. So you have to think a lot more, turb guns are hit quite hard, uh, but some aspects of it were actually buffed. So what do you think about that, guys? Talking about FE-405, for example, to uh, talking about uh, Hesh ammunition. Hesh now, yes, it has a lot more penetration than AG, but now it relies so much more. If you deal damage, it relies all those tanks, hash tanks, uh, rely so much more on aiming and hitting the weak spots. So sniping with FE-405 Stage 2, sniping with 183 is 100% not going to be as effective anymore. And you are not able to take quick snapshots, you actually have to aim. Imagine a situation previously. Enemy heavy tank was at 500 hit points. You were almost always able to right click and left click that guy out of the game but now with 183 millimeter guns even you have to aim in your shot and make sure it actually hits what you want it to hit to deal needed damage so there is that ladies and gentlemen AT changes on the sandbox test uh, server right now. I'm going to do so much more uh, tests. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, like many more episodes. Uh, people wanted to see KV2. I think I'm going to get KV2 platoon together. Let's see how KV2 is reacting. By the way, I, I did play one battle with KV2 on the test server. I was able to penetrate, I think, three shots in total, maybe even four shots. But I had, for example, uh, one, I think three shots uh, penetrated. Um, like highest one was 900 into t 29s side armor through tracks once again guys through tracks but i did hit uh, tier 6 tank into the turret for no damage because i did hit the gun mantle so once again you win some you lose some so stay tuned for more testing take part of the test as well you get some free stuff as they are showcasing over here but as far as i know someone told me in the chat guys that uh, grand battles which i did play before as well do not count towards the sandbox missions you have to complete anyway ladies and gentlemen please let me know what you think what you think about those changes uh, being tested on the sandbox right now keep in mind this is still a sandbox server it doesn't mean those changes are coming into the game when it is um, getting a green light it usually can take up to like six months or maybe even one year to be implemented so 
Do you want to see those changes in the game or not? What is your take on it? Leave that in the comment section down below and please stay tuned for more episodes hitting that subscribe button, notification bell as well if you want to be part of the coolest family on the interwebs. I thank you so much for your attention. Stay awesome, stay naked, stay sexy, take care and bye.